My name is Rene and I am the President and CEO of Speaking Roses. Thank you for taking the time to look at this video. If you're looking at this video, that means you're thinking about analyzing if this is a good opportunity for you to become a licensee. Well, before I can start telling you more about Speaking Roses, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm originally from South America. That's why I have a cool accent, okay? So, I've been an entrepreneur all my life. And uh, many years ago, I was owner of an agency and a promotional product company. So I sell promotional items. And one day, one of the customers that I have, they want something unique and different. And that's when I came up with the concept of printing on a flower. And I sold printed flowers to a company. And that's when the journey begins. So today, what I'm gonna do is to show you all the opportunities that printed flowers have. And I wanna show you some of the markets that people right now, customers from all over the world, are selling our product into multiple markets and multiple companies. So join me in this uh, few minutes and I will explain you in more detail everything about Speaking Roses. The first question that people always ask me, what is Speaking Roses? Well, in order for you to really understand what Speaking Roses is, you need to understand what is a greeting card. Well, think about this. A greeting card is basically a piece of cardstock paper. So when you grab a piece of cardstock paper, plus you combine it with a message, you got two different elements. Cardstock paper, message, equals a greeting card. And why people buy a greeting card for? Think about it. They, because, they buy it because they wanna transmit a message. They wanna communicate something. So when they're buying a greeting card, they're basically buying for the message, not for the vehicle. The vehicle, it's only two, three cents. What they're paying for is the message. Does that make sense? So Speaking Roses basically is replicating what they're doing with the greeting card industry. The greeting card industry basically, again, is a combination of two elements that create the greeting card. So what we did with Speaking Roses, we basically changed the paper. So instead of the paper, now it's a flower. And with a flower, now the message could be on a flower. So that's why our slogan is, Speaking Roses is the new way of expressions. Basically, a lot of people ask me, what industry do we belong then? Because are we belonging to the flower industry or do we belong to the gift industry? Let's, let's go to the board for a second. A lot of people ask me, what industry do you guys belong to? And in order for you to understand that, the first thing you need to see what options do we have. A lot of people say, hey, I think you guys are a promotional product. Some people say, no, you're part of the gift industry. Some people say, no, no, you guys belong to the floral industry. Some people say, no, you're part of the wedding. Or you, some people say, well, you're a replication of the greeting card. Some people say, you're, no, you're part of the funeral industry or the advertising, and then many more. So in order for you to understand what industry you really belongs to, just remember this story, greeting card. Two elements combined create an entire new industry that in the United States alone, it's around $8 billion. So that alone is an industry, but we don't belong to that one specifically. You know why? Because now when we grab the flower with the message, we create basically a new industry of expressions. Yes, that's correct. So we are right here in the middle because we combine this industry. We can tap into all this industry. That's why the opportunity, it becomes so interesting with Speaking Roses. Because if you put a promotional logo on a flower, it becomes part of this promotional industry. If you put basically a romantic message for a wedding, it becomes part of the wedding program. If you put a message for funeral, it becomes part of this industry. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. How Speaking Roses can tap in multiple industry and which one maybe is the right for you because you need to make that decision. Which industry would you be interested in digging, dive into it and make money with this concept? Because the market is open and somebody needs to fulfill those orders in your area. Another question that people always ask me is, how big is the market? How many people are buying personalized flowers? Well, think about this. If people is buying flowers for the last 2000 years, the only thing you will have to do is show to the people that buy flowers that events, 
weddings, funerals, birthday parties, Mother's Day, I mean, all the traditional ways. Well, think about that. If people buy flowers on a regular basis for decoration and for all these reasons, you only need a small percentage of people that want to buy that personalized flower. So if you live in an area of 100,000 people, for example, how many of those people are buying flowers on a daily basis? You only need a 20% of that market and convert them into buying personalized flowers. And if you can do that, the market is very, very, very big and very attractive. Because flowers is not the only thing now that we're doing in this 2019. There's other things that we also are doing. For example, let me show you. I don't know if you've seen this yet, but now we have the ability to personalize cookies with FDA approved ink. Yes, imagine the combination of flowers and personalized cookies. Or not just cookies, but fruits and even marshmallows, even chips. Let me show you this. So we have, we have the technology now that we can print on also with FDA approved ink, even into chips. One of the things that I really would like you to understand is that the human race have gone through three different great stages. Number one, in the old days, everybody used and wear the same clothes and drive the same car. That was the mass production stage where everybody eat the same, wear the same, drive the same, exactly the same thing. But after that, customers start getting a, a very antsy about new things. So companies, they have to start reacting. So what they did is they grab the same product and they start changing the colors. They start grabbing the same cereal and they start putting raisins, no raisin, with sugar, no sugar, with fruits or no fruits. So they start giving a little bit of variety uh, to the products. But today we are in the third stage and this is the stage and the era of personalization. Think about it. Everything must be personalized. Everybody wears different clothes. Everybody drives different cars. Everybody has their own style in their houses. Every single thing is different. Many companies are start grabbing that trend. If you go to the company by the name of Nike, Nike, the tennis shoes, you go to Nike ID, now they give you the power to you to personalize the shoes the, the way how you want it. The colors you want it, the lace shoes you want it, exactly the way you want it. You go to a company by the name of M&M's, they create a new company called MyM&M's.com. Go there, you'll find that you can find your own M&M's with your own personalization method. A lot of people ask me, so where can I sell my product to? Who is my market? Where can I target my product? Well, the answer is that you have multiple options and we have multiple opportunities. We have many customers that they're targeting different markets. So the ones that best suit your needs and your area is the one that you need to start focusing on. And of course, you know, everybody will start in a different path. So for example, when I start this, the best thing for me, it was start in the corporate world. And that's how I started. Now I have seen many different people start in different markets. So let's go and let me show you some of the most basic and traditional ones. So for example, in this case, we have the traditional markets. Who buys flowers today? Well, there's a traditional market right now where people are already buying flowers for a long time. For example, how many people that you know has birthdays? Well, if you grab a small percentage of that segment that buying birthday presents, instead of just buying a regular gift, now they buy flowers for the birthday, that could be a market segment. How do you target that people? Well, I mean, these days with Facebook and social media and a few advertisements here and there, it's pretty easy to get the word out there. So it's up to you how much aggressive you wanna be, you know? So how many people has anniversaries? Think about that. Those are one of the other reasons why people buy flowers all the time, anniversaries. How many people has weddings? How many people has funerals? And let's talk about holidays. How many people buy flowers for Valentine's Day? How many people buy flowers for Mother's Day? So my point with this is there is already a traditional market where you could be targeting the flowers to. And like I said before, if you focus only on stealing just a small percentage of whole entire people in your area that are buying flowers, and then you say, you, you show the product and you say, okay, you buy regular flowers, now would you like to buy personalized flowers? What percentage do you believe you can get after? 
Well, that's up to you how aggressive you want to be. And then depending on the strategy. But if you grab a small percentage of current people that are buying flowers in the traditional way, you got a very good opportunity in your area. So many people today start with the traditional way. The way how I start selling flowers in the, in the old days, it was specifically to corporations. I learned from the company that I used to have promotional products and advertising agency, I learned that every single company, they have the small budget, the petty cash budget, and plus they have the other budget that is the corporate and marketing budget. When I understand that the marketing budget was much larger than the petty cash budget, I realized that I need to talk to the people in marketing. So that's when I start realizing that if my product can be perceived as a promotional product, I have a huge market and a huge opportunity and a huge budget to work with. That's when I start selling flowers to corporations. My, one of my first orders, like I mentioned before, it was 700 roses. That was my first ever order that I got. My biggest order that I personally got from one order, it was $46,000 that we did to an agency. So let's go back to the board here. So one of the things that I learned, every marketing department, they need to promote themselves. They need to take care of their customers. They need to take care of the consumers. They need to take care of their employees. They need to take care of the community. So the magic of the combination of flower with the message create this very interesting, powerful tool that when they see it, they understand immediately that is a very powerful marketing tool. Now, here's another thing. Agencies, advertising agencies, they have many, many customers. I remember the first big order that we received from them. Do you know how they, why they use our product? They want to use a, a, our product for a VIP invitation. They need something classy so they can send to a lot of customers. They represent many, many companies. And those companies, they need to take care of all their members and customers. So that's why this is a very good tool for companies to use flowers as a marketing and promotional item. So agencies is a very good option as well. Now, this is, a, this is one of my favorite ones, the promotional industry. I understand that because I come from that world. I've been selling them and, and selling and producing promotional items for a very long time. So just in the United States alone, this is a very, it's a pretty large industry. It's a $20 billion industry. Now this industry, they, uh, so you understand, they sell everything that has a logo on it, from pen, mugs, shirts, everything you can think of with a logo, they sell it, okay? But guess what? They never have the opportunity to sell uh, flowers with personalization on them until we create that product. So, in, in a few years ago, we went to the, a trade show, one of the biggest trade shows in the world for promotional product. And guess what? We won the best product in show. This is like, like winning the Oscar in the promotional industry. We were chosen the number one product in a $20 billion industry. That is a big deal. You know why? Because each one of these products, basically, Every one of these distributors love what we were selling. So imagine what that means. You know how many promotional product distributors are out there? Just go to the, your website, Google it, promotional product distributors in your area, in your town, in your city, and you will realize that all the people that sell this product can be your reseller. So if you team up with them, they have already a relationship with a lot of small, medium, and large companies in your area. And those guys can help you, basically, to absolutely distribute this product all over the area there where you are. So that's a very good option. And of course, events. Now, event planners, there's a lot of companies that they focus exclusively to take care of all the corporations, all the events of companies. Those guys also are a great reseller for your product. Now I'm gonna talk about partnerships. If you do it by yourself, you will have to get every single order by yourself with your own effort. My recommendation is look for some type of partnerships. There's a lot of organizations out there that they already have relationship with the community. So think about this. With how many fundraisings could you do in your community? With schools, with nonprofit organization, and with specifically with individuals. These guys already have a relationship with the community. And guess what? They all buy flowers. 
So if they give you access to their companies, to their fundraising, to the nonprofit organization, to the schools or the universities or whatever it is, they already have that relationship with the community. And if they come up and tell the community now that if they buy personal flowers, they get a commission, they get a piece, they get a benefit, think about that. How many of those people are we be willing to partner up with you because you have a very unique product that everybody is buying? But now you are the one that can fulfill those orders and they are the one that can help you to deliver those. So that's a great partnership to do with. A lot of customers are doing that. Local wholesalers, that they, they're the ones that already sell the flowers. These guys already have the relationship with every single flower shop and they have a relationship with every single event planner and wedding planner and everybody that buy flowers in a wholesale manner. These guys are already are bringing the flowers in, into the town, into the city, in your area. If you develop a relationship with them where you team up with them and then basically you print on their product and you come up with the type of relationship that they have all the relationship already established and they start offering personalized flowers, imagine if only 20% of their customers buy your product once a week. That alone can turn into a very interesting numbers for you, depending on how big the area, how many wholesalers. Some of these wholesalers have a relationship up to 500, 600 customers. So that alone, it could be a very good partnership as well. Now, if you have connections with brand or you are willing to work with some licensing products, for example, go to the universities. You could go to universities that they have their football team, that they have the basketball team, that they want to somehow, they already have a logo. Well, imagine if your relationship with them and you're the only one in the city that can sell University of Flowers or High School Flowers or whatever the logo or the brand that they represent in the area. In reality, the opportunity to sell personalized flowers have many different options and many different opportunities. It all depends on which one do you wanna go after. When I started this thing, my only product that I had was single stamps. The one that I told you I was selling to corporations. That's all what I sell, just single stamps. But I have many customers today that they focus in many different, different industries. I mean, one funny story, and, and this is in the United States here, you know that the concept bud is a beer. So I had a customer selling flowers on bars and she put this bud is for you. And she has like 20 bars where she sells single stamps. So people go get a drink and they have, uh, they see their flowers, this bud is for you. And they buy this flower for the girlfriend or the wife or whoever. That's all what she does. So single stem, there's a multiple way how you can do that. Whatever you put on it, it can be sold in souvenir shops, it could be sold into corporations, it could be sold into uh, religious matters, you know, it doesn't matter. It, whatever the logo you put on it is what the flower will become, okay? Now, after that, we move into roses and boxes. Of course, if you wanna sell online, you have to have more than just single stems. So after that, a lot of our customers, they move into roses and boxes because that's the easy way how to sell flowers. You know, you put roses in boxes, you put 12 roses on it, you have a product. You have six roses on it, you have a half a dozen. And then whatever the name, whatever the logo, whatever the phrase that you put on it is the way in how the flower will be perceived. So roses and boxes is something that uh, you can be selling to retail or you could be selling to businesses or to corporations. Now, the weekly bookie program is something that uh, one of our customers came up with. They went to companies and they said, hey, if I bring you uh, a, a bouquet of flowers every single week and we put one in the entrance and one in the, uh, in the back where all the customers come, would you be willing to make a commitment for a weekly bouquet program? And they said, hey, that's a great idea. So then that's what the weekly bouquet program came up with. And now I have customers that they do the weekly bouquet program for dentist bouquets with a smile, with the teeth. They have corporate bouquets with logos, with motivational phrases, with religious phrases. I mean, the ideas are endless. Then after that, you know, I have people selling petals. Soap petals. Yes, soap. Soap petals. Uh, fresh petals, silk petals. They're all personalized. And they create a line of product with that. I have customers selling 
even personalized plants. Believe it or not, yeah, we'll teach you how to do that as well. Personalized plants. We have people selling silks flowers. And we also have, now, with a new line of product, you can do exactly what we're doing on flowers, but now on edible products, like fruits, like cookies, like everything else. So everything I told you about the flowers applies to all other products that are edibles. In summary, let me tell you that all the technology that we provide to you, it will give you the opportunity for you to start selling only one product that are personalized flowers, or give you the ability to create, in a sense, a personalization mall. There's companies in the United States and around the world that they focus 100% in personalized products. Here is a few examples of some of those companies, like Sazzle, for example, Personalization Mall, Things Remember. There's just some of those companies that they sell personalized items. So you could, with all our technology, could actually start taking care of all the needs of the area that where you live. And if you wanna be more aggressive, you can basically start selling all over the nation. How big you wanna get with the personalization business that you wanna get into it, it's gonna be up to you. The, the products, uh, personalized products are in high demand. Which one do you wanna start with? What questions do you have? How can we help you? Please send us all your questions to the email below and we will love to answer all those questions. We will have either me or some of my advisors will directly contact you and we'll answer all your questions in a very short time. So we are either gonna call you or gonna email you, but feel free to send all the questions you have. And listen, I personally invite you to come and see us. Come and look at all the details and how the product feels and how the product looks and what the product can do for your area. I personally invite you, come to our offices, come to our corporate offices, we will take care of you. We'll make sure that you have a wonderful time. And if this is not for you, no problem. This is not for everybody. This is for people that have the passion to take care of other people's emotions. So again, thank you for your time. And I hope to see you in our office, either for training or to come and visit and take a look what we have cooking over here. Have a wonderful time.